It is so good to have with me in the studio today my good friend Philip Edwards, president of River City Senior Benefits. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Awesome to be here again. Thanks. So I was reading over this paperwork, more than 10,000 people turn 65 daily. Yes, ma'am. Wow, that's a, that's a big number. Good thing they, they have you to call with all their Medicare needs. Talk to me about Medicare parts. What does that mean? How many parts are there? Original Medicare has part A and B, and so that's hospital and medical coverage. And then there's part C, which combines those and generally includes drug coverage, or part D, where you can just get the drug coverage. So if someone is doing a Medicare supplement, they're gonna need that part D along with it. If they're doing an Advantage plan, then everything is all combined together. They have just one card, and it includes all those four types of coverage. So there's options. How would someone know what they need? Well, it, it really comes down to uh, you know what, what they're wanting. A lot of times their comfort level. Do they like a plan more like what they've had at work with co-pays, maybe a, uh, some, some out-of-pocket, but a limit to that maximum out-of-pocket? And uh, coverage that original Medicare doesn't have, uh, things like dental and vision are included, or uh, are they more interested in a, a supplement? That's been traditionally what people looked at. And uh, with a Medicare supplement, it's paying what's left over after Medicare. Generally now people go with either N or G, which is gonna have wow. still the $226 deductible in Part B, but everything else would be covered if Medicare approves part of it. When would you say people need to start at least <clears throat> thinking about this kind of like retirement? It's never too early or when can they enroll? Talk to me about that. So they can enroll when they're turning 65. Okay. Uh, if someone is still working, then they don't necessarily need to, especially if their company has 20 or more employees, then their group insurance is gonna be primary. So they wouldn't need to en enroll in Part B. Uh, it's $164.90 a month this year okay. for Part B. So why pay for that if your group insurance is primary? But if, if they're retiring or leaving that group coverage, then they'd need to go ahead and do that um, when, when they're getting ready to retire and do it within a month of doing so. If they don't have that coverage in place when they're aging into Medicare at age 65, you have the three months before, month of, three months after when you can enroll in a plan. And uh, if they're already drawing Social Security, they're gonna automatically get their card with the A and B on it. But if they're not, then they're gonna have to actually apply for Part B. So that's gonna be a, through the Medicare, I mean the Social Security website. And we can assist people with that and figuring out how to do that. If they're coming off of a group plan, there's a couple of forms they've got to send into Social Security to do that. So again, we can help people with getting those forms and getting them filled out. So you talked about when you can enroll, but people's needs changed. Are they locked into that plan though for the rest of their lives or can they change? <sighs> Well, there's an annual enrollment period every year where people can make a change. If they're okay. on a Medicare supplement, they can change any time with a Medicare supplement as long as their health allows them to do so because there is underwriting. Uh, the first six months they're on Part B, there is no health questions, uh, there's no pre-existing. But after that, you know, a few, year, few years down the road, if they're wanting to make a change, then they do have to go through health underwriting. But they can do that at any time. With the Advantage plan, they do have the annual enrollment period and there's also an enrollment period uh, in January, February, March, where people who are already on an enrollment period, uh, on an advantage plan could make a change. Uh, there's other opportunities as well, you know, that we can talk to people about. There's special enrollment periods where they can make a change. I'm always amazed at how patiently and slowly you explain something that could seem a little intimidating and confusing. How can people get a hold of you to schedule a consultation as we wrap up? Well, so our, our phone number, 423-509-8913. Uh, We'd love to have people give us a call. We have a team of agents here in the area, not just myself, with a lot of experience. And um, we like to work with people. Um, we can meet with them in their own home, or we can meet with them at a coffee shop, or we can do it remotely. So whatever they're comfortable with. Thank you so much for coming on the show again, Philip. So good to see you. That's Philip Edwards, president of River City Senior Benefits, and we have his contact information up on the screen. Thank you so much for coming again. Thank you.